Okay, an ion has a mass of uh, 1.67, uh, okay, exponent negative 27 kilogram, and charge of this uh, 1.6 exponent negative 19 coulomb. Okay, uh, so I already write down the mass here. Uh, am I? Uh, it enters a velocity selector which consists of a 2.4 tesla magnetic field and 3 exponent 5 volt per meter electric field. Ions that emerge from the velocity selector enter another region of a 0 0.30 tesla uniform magnetic fields. After leaving the velocity selector, calculate velocity of the ion and radius of the semicircular path of ion. Okay. So these are the questions, things he asked. So first of all, information given. Let's find out what's the information given. It gives us the mass, uh, the mass of the ion, uh, the charge of it, the charge. So it seems this is a positive charge. It didn't say it's a negative charge. So it's a, it didn't mention any, any sign, no sign. So we just assume this as positive charge. Yeah? If no sign, just assume as positive charge. Okay, um, so um, uh, it uh, can be considered like this. Lah. Uh, this ion, we don't know what ion, just put X. Yeah, it has, um, seems that this is a uh, charge is a one proton. You see, uh, this is a positive charge. This is actually charge of one electron, which is also proton. Charge of one proton. Uh, yeah, this one, lah, 1.6 exponent negative, 19 coulomb. So it's a uh, only one positive charge, only one positive charge. So it's just positive, one positive, uh, not two positive. It's just one positive. Okay, uh, this are uh, information. So it enters a um, velocity selector which consists of this magnetic field. Okay, uh, so this is the magnetic field. Okay, magnetic field, and this is the electric field. Uh, okay. Magnetic field and electric field. I got it ready. Um, ions now uh, enter another field. You see that? So here is B1. This is B2. Another field already, this one. So what is the velocity of the ions? So what velocity is being selected? Uh, so um, yeah, just now the B1 and E, I already write down here. Okay, uh, ah, I already uh, show you the diagram like this, like this lah, actually. Uh, this is the uh, velocity selector part, you select this velocity. Uh, so according to this ratio, yeah, you select this velocity according to the ratio of electric field over magnetic field. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, so velocity selector, it has two force acting. The electric force and magnetic force. Yeah, this one is magnetic force using magnetic force one. So magnetic force two because they have different elect different magnetic field B one B two different magnetic field. Ah, okay. Um, so um, let's find out what's the velocity being selected. I already have the electric field and magnetic field. So let's find out first. Yeah, for this one. Uh, electric field is a uh, three exponent uh, five and then we have the electric field uh, 2.4 tesla for tesla so what's the answer it is 1.25 exponent uh, five meter per second uh, that's that's the velocity being selected yeah velocity being selected now this particle with this velocity now will go to the other region of magnetic field. Yeah? Enter the B2. So here there's only one force, isn't it? Which is the magnetic force. There's no more electric force because no more parallel plate. Uh, so only has one magnetic force. So this magnetic force will eventually become it will become the centripetal force. Uh, it become the Centripetal force. So this is the center. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, FB2. Should be FB2. Um, put this as FB2. Become the centripetal force. Um, so 
uh, use the formula magnetic force is BQV sine theta. Uh, theta is equal to 90 degree because theta is the angle between velocity and magnetic field. Velocity and magnetic field, they are perpendicular. So theta equal to 90. So sine theta sine 90 equal to 1. Okay, uh, so gone. Uh, velocity also cut off. That's why we get the R equal to mv over BQ. Ah, I already got the formula for radius. Now the question asks for radius. So just substitute everything inside this formula, we will get radius. So mass, mass is 167, negative 27. Uh, yeah, uh, 167, negative 27. What else? Um, mass, I already got it. And velocity, uh, it's selected this velocity. Let's put that velocity, yeah? 1, 1 1.25. Uh, exponent 5, uh, that's it, okay, so divided by um, velocity, so what's the magnetic field, uh, don't use the 2.4, now you enter a new region, new region with, uh, what is the B2, what's the magnetic field B2, uh, 0 0.3 Tesla, that's the B2, okay, 0 0.3, not the, not the 2.4, now it's only 3, 0 0.3. Okay, so just put the, this is the B2, magnetic field, sorry. Again, this is the magnetic field, B2. Uh, yeah. So what's a B2? Uh, what's a B2? B2 is uh, 0 0.3, yeah, 0 0.3. Let's put that 0 0.3. Okay, 0 0.3. So uh, how about the charge? Charge is uh charge is uh one pro one pro one uh one proton 0.6 exponent negative 19. 1.6 exponent negative 19. Yeah. Uh 1.6 negative 19. That's that's answer. Ah, okay. So I got I got all the information as a uh, substituted. So calculate, I get four point three five exponent negative three meter. Or you can also write this as four point three five millimeter. That's it. Uh, that's it for the radius. Okay. Uh, so that's it for um yeah. So here is velocity selector, yeah. Uh, in fact, here uh, the total force equal to zero. Yeah, over here the total force here equal to zero because F B one minus F E, okay. Uh, minus F E. Uh, for this one, for this region, no man, no electric force. So the magnetic force becomes the centripetal force for this charge to move in a circle. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, hope you enjoy. Um, so uh, that's all for these videos. Okay. Um, if you have any question, don't forget to write down comments below, and uh, I will try my best to answer your questions. Thank you, everyone. See you again. Bye.